What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mike Versperl, and for today's video, I wanna talk about a remote trigger that I've been testing out for the past two months. It's called Unleashed, and it was developed by a German company called Fullography. Now, the way this works is it connects with your camera and your smartphone via Bluetooth and an app that they provide. Now, they sent me a unit to test out with my Nikon Z cameras, and it's packed with a bunch of amazing features. One of the biggest selling points for me was it does auto ramping, which is great when you're doing a time lapse during a sunrise or sunset when the light is constantly changing. Now there's a bunch of information to unpack here, so I'm gonna break this video into several parts, and I'll leave a timestamp pinned in the comment section below for those that wanna to jump to a specific part. Now, without further ado, let's jump into the review. Unleashed is a compact plug and play device that links up to your smartphone using the Unleashed app automatically. It connects via Bluetooth, and after using it for a couple months, I have yet to have any connection issues. The goal of the Foolography team was to create a device that wouldn't be obtrusive on your camera and it could be left on there at all times. Other products on the market tend to use your camera's hot shoe, making it unavailable for an external flash or a shotgun microphone. However, with the Unleashed unique design, you don't have that issue. Also, the Unleashed unit never needs to be charged since it draws a low level amount of energy from your camera's battery. At first, I was concerned about this. However, after doing several time lapses at hours at end, I didn't notice my camera battery draining any faster than it normally would. You can control up to six unleashed units in the app at once, which allows you to trigger multiple cameras that might be set up in various locations. The app is very clean and easy to use, so let's jump to that next. When I open up the unleashed app, I had to pair my unleashed hardware by clicking the icon at the bottom left corner. This is where you would do any firmware updates or manage additional units or accessories you may have. After getting paired up, we have four categories to choose from, so let's start with photo. I'm going to quickly go over everything you see here on the app, starting with the very top row. To the left is the type of unleashed unit you are using and what camera it's plugged into. In the middle of that row is the camera's light meter, which I find very useful when shooting my time lapses. If you have little marks to the left of center, that means you're underexposed, and little marks right of center means your photo is overexposed. Next in that row is an estimated number of photos you can capture on your card and the camera's battery life. Now in the row below that, we have the camera mode, which physically has to be set on the camera and not the app. I like to keep mine on manual mode, allowing me to choose the settings I prefer. The next three options available in this row are shutter speed, f-stop, and your ISO. Continuing on to the next row, we have exposure value compensation. To the right of that is long exposure, which will be grayed out unless you put your camera in bulb mode. After that, we have white balance settings and the quality of image you're capturing. The options you see here will vary depending on which camera you own. In the last row, we have the drive mode for single shot, burst shot, high or low, and a timer. To the right of that is the different metering options to choose from depending on what you're photographing. Then we have our focus setting, which also physically has to be changed on your camera to manual, single shot, or continuous. And the last option in this row is GPS for those that want to geotag their photos. Down at the very bottom in the center is your trigger button to take a photo. And if you would like to see a preview of that photo, just click on the icon at the bottom right of the app to turn on photo review. This will capture a low res thumbnail for those that want to double check their exposure. And lastly, the three lines at the bottom left will bring you back to your other shooting options, which we're going to jump to the video option next. The video menu has just about all the same features as the photo menu, except a video thumbnail review option, so you will have to check your video physically on the camera after recording. To use the app to trigger your camera so it starts recording, you'll need to switch your camera to video mode. Now the one thing I have to talk to Foolography about is the quality option under video. Right now, it has the same options you use for still images. I want to know if this could be changed for video quality like 4K or 1080p and different frame rate options that the camera is capable of doing. So as of right now, those changes physically have to be done on the camera, but I believe a firmware update in the future may change that. Once you have your settings dialed in, simply press the record button at the bottom of the app to start the video, press it again to stop it, and it's as simple as that. Setting up a time lapse is extremely easy with this app. Simply click the first row of camera settings to expand all the photo options. 
dial in your exposure settings for the time lapse, and make sure you put the camera into manual focus mode to prevent the camera from refocusing during the time lapse. Go back to the main time lapse menu and set up the interval time. Make sure you choose a time that's at least a second or two longer than your shutter speed. The camera needs an additional second or two so it can write the photo information to the card. Next, choose the duration time you want to spend taking your time lapse. The Unleash software will give you an estimated clip length based on 30 frames per second frame rate. In post processing, you don't need to make your time lapse 30 frames per second if you don't want to. This is just a guide to help you get an idea of the video length you are creating. After everything is all set up, simply press the shutter button at the bottom of the app and the time lapse will start firing away. Now, the great thing about this product is you can make changes to your time lapse without stopping it. So, if you decide to change the aperture, shutter speed, or the ISO during the time lapse, it will update on the next exposure that it takes. So this is great if you want to manually change your exposure during a sunrise or sunset time lapse. Without a tool like this, I would have to change my exposure by touching my camera during the time lapse and sometimes I would shake it a little bit. Now I don't have to worry about that anymore. Another great feature I love about the Unleashed app is that you can close out the app during the time lapse and use other programs without interfering with your time lapse. This is an amazing feature as some competitors need their app to stay open at all times to function properly, wasting your phone's battery life. Even if you accidentally close the app, the time lapse will continue shooting as it's supposed to. Last but certainly not least is the auto ramping menu. This capability is what got me really excited because there's not too many products out there that offer reliable auto ramping. And if you love creating magic hour time lapses or a time lapse that goes from day to night or night to day, then this might be the right tool for you. Setting this up is similar to a standard time lapse, but there is some additional information that is needed. First, click the top menu to choose your camera settings. I recommend underexposing your time lapse to avoid blowing out your highlights. I like to keep my sunrise and sunset time lapse about two thirds a stop underexposed because it's easier to recover underexposed shadow detail than it is to recover overexposed highlights. Next, choose your interval and duration time just like a normal time lapse. Now, you need to choose an algorithm for what you're planning on shooting, either a sunrise or a sunset. LRT Sunrise and Sunset is an algorithm developed by Gunther Wagner, the creator of LR Time Lapse, which I highly recommend using when creating an auto ramp time lapse. Foolography developers also have a modified version, which they told me is a slightly altered version of Gunther's algorithm. I will put a link in the description which will explain these algorithms in more detail. The algorithm EV Meter Smoothing 24 is for people that want to take day to night or night to day time lapses and will require some exposure adjustments via the app. For these auto ramp algorithms, you will need to set your day and night camera settings. So for example, if I'm doing a sunset, I might start with the exposure of 1 100th of a second, an f-stop of 14, and the ISO of 64. As the sun starts to go down, the app will start to ramp the camera settings to change and maintain the proper exposure. It will max out at whatever I list as my night settings, which for example could be a shutter speed of 13 seconds, f2.8, ISO 6400. Just keep in mind that the interval will have to be set a second or two longer than your night shutter speed. When auto ramping a sunset, the app will first decrease the shutter speed, then open up the aperture, and lastly raise the ISO. When auto ramping a sunrise, it will decrease the ISO first, then close the aperture, and lastly, increase the shutter speed. Here's an unedited auto ramp so you can see how it automatically makes adjustments for the change in light during a sunset. And here's the same auto ramp after being corrected with LR time lapse. The auto ramping has definitely come in handy for those complex light transitions. So I know there was a lot of information to cover in this video, but I really want to share the capabilities of this cool piece of gear. And just touching on the pros and cons really quick, with the pros being the size, the weight, how well the uh, interface is of this app, and how well it connects to my camera every time, that's all fantastic. I didn't really have much negative about this product other than the fact that I ran into an issue when I was doing a sunrise auto ramp and it kept overexposing. However, I reached out to Foolography 
they investigated the problem and they created a firmware update within one week for me, which fixed the problem. So I'm happy to see a company stand behind their product like that. Um, it really shows that they care and take pride in their work. So that's always good to see that if you run into a hardware or software issue that they're willing to work with you and fix that problem. Another issue that I ran into with the Unleashed remote trigger was um, it looks like it's only made for Nikon and Canon cameras. So if you're a Sony camera user or you use some other manufacturer, um, they do not have remote triggers currently at this time. You could reach out to them and see if they're developing them. I'm not positive if they are or not. Maybe as they grow in popularity, they will, but currently right now, I only see remote triggers for Canon and Nikon users. So that's a downside if you don't own one of those camera brands. So other than that, I really have nothing negative to say. This product has been great so far, and I can't wait to use it in the near future, doing more sunrise and sunset time lapses and even day to night or night to day time lapses. So definitely check it out, go to their website. I think they're running a sale at the moment, so take advantage of that if you can. And uh, thanks you guys for watching. If you have any questions, shoot them an email and they'll happily help you out. Take care, bye bye.